précédemment dans la fleur de mai. thinks about us. She does. And she's gotten enough push from my mom and my dad and Uncle Nathan. Well, she deserves it. You don't mean that. I do. I do. And if Jackie brings down this company, it'll be on her. And I will never forgive her. Now go back inside. You're so mad? Yeah, I guess you could say that. I just did what I thought I had to do. I don't expect you to understand. Wow, really? That's great. Okay. <laughs> really? That's great. Uncle Taj, come on! Look, you sided with Jackie. No. Really? Anastasia approved it. We talked about it and she agreed that. Wait, and besides, I'll be working with Jackie so I can keep an eye Look, on her. I'm not gonna argue about this, okay? I just know that I'm really disappointed in you.
Yes, this is Julien de Givenchy. Yes, I know. Well, I've been thinking about your offer and... No, yeah, of course, I mean, no worries. I will talk to Marco. I'm sure you will be delighted. Of course, me too. Uh, I apologize, I can't run. I have another call coming, but I will definitely see you later. Bye, this is good. Please, have a seat. This is an official visit. What can I help the GCPD with today? Uh, it's about a case you worked on a while back, Paige Williams. Yes, how can I help you? I need your help. But what exactly? I'm reopening the case. Why now? The, the department has come across some new information. What type of information? I want you to come down to the station and go over your statement again sometime this week. Everything I know should be noted in a case file. I, it's been so long, I don't see how I can help. Taj Lee Gehrig was your patient. Uh, I believe he's still a patient of yours. Yes, yes, he is, but I no longer work for the department. And that case is public record, so any of the notes or recordings that are in there are for anyone to see. Yeah, and I'll be going over them again. What I'm more interested in is what he may have remembered after that. Well, as you know, I'm not allowed to discuss my patients. Well, I could get a court order. Certainly you could, but you don't have one now. But there isn't anything else. Right. Well, I'll be in touch. Have a great day. And you as well. Isabella. Hello. Long time no see. <laughs> what brings you to this side of town? I was looking for Marco and your brother. I have a report for them. Oh. Well, let me guess. The secret to Genevieve Co. Maybe. You look different. Must be the hair. Hmm. So you think I have a chance now? Me? Well, you were the reason I didn't get the modeling job with Classic Flirt, right? Yeah, that was a long time ago. I don't forget easily. So, you're still mad? No, not really. Well, you can let me make that up to you over dinner. Well, I'd have to check with my girlfriend and see what she thinks about that. Interesting. <laughs> Pascal, give me a call. Isabella. Good to see you again. Me too. Uncle Tosh. Everything okay with you two? Look, I don't want to talk about it. Well, if you need to. This is traffic, please. Thanks. I'm just trying to help. Look, I don't want to talk about it, okay? Okay. Look, I have some paperwork uh, I left on your desk. I need you to look it over and uh, bring it back to me, okay? I have to uh, bring it to some... 
to bring to the post office a force of module later today, okay? Why is he coming back? Do you know? I don't know. I guess in the next couple of months. We need him here. Talk to him. Get him here. So, talk to me. What's wrong? Everything. All right. I'm listening. So, your new best friend, Jackie. I thought you liked Jackie. I do. It's just... It's so complicated. I... I thought I was doing the right thing here. What exactly did you do? Well, I just kind of helped Jackie with some votes for proxy of Genevieve Co. It, just enough to help pull some strings, and Marco was totally and completely against it. I thought I just had to deal with Marco, and now I feel like I have to defend my actions to each and every member of the Geary family. And you know what? I'm sick of it. Jackie is a Geary too, and if she wants to be involved in the family business, why shouldn't she? Technically, she's not black. She's a Geary by marriage. And your point? Well, she can go and find herself another husband. What? She's still young, ambitious. She's not glued to the Gary unless she wants to. Her husband is dead. She needs to move on. So what are you saying? That she should just pack her bag and leave? Yes. What? What, Julian? Excuse me. Go to hell! Amanda? No? No, no, I'm free now. Meet me in my hotel room. How about 20 minutes? Yes! since yesterday. I spent the night at the cottage and I even called Ben. Why, why would you call Ben? Because they're engaged. You know? What? You know too? Uh, sort of. So great. So everybody knows? That's just perfect. Wait, how did you find out? Jackie. What? We were having dinner last night. She told me and your Aunt Penelope. Bro, she's got nothing to do with this. Why would she do that? What? Tell the truth? Look, this is Anastasia's decision, Mom. Not Jacqueline's, not mine. Hers and hers alone. Yeah, but you don't know. Benjamin, he's a monster. He's evil, and I want him nowhere near my daughter. This engagement ends now. I will kill him, so help me God. Sean, it's me. Uh, listen, I need you to locate my grandmother. Well, call her assistant, call her driver. I need to know where she is right now. No, you listen to me. I don't care if she's having dinner with the Queen of England or the President of the United States. I need to know her location, and I need to know now. Thank you. Old man Jasper, I don't know how much longer I'll be able to keep your secrets. But my grandmother gives me no choice. It must be done. And?
Joining you. Uh, I think you and I need to have a chat. Well, I'm waiting for someone to get So maybe you can I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jacqueline. Grandmother. But this really can't wait. Alright, but make it quick. Good. So, the funniest thing happened to me while I was in Europe. So, I was supposed to be going to Spain when all of a sudden the flight took an unexpected turn to Paris. Now, long flights are always exhausting, so I took a nap. And uh, when I woke up, I was in a chateau. Shocking, isn't it? Anyway, so it was this beautiful place, and uh, there was this man there. He said that he knew you. And is there a point to this story? Oh, well, the castle, or the, the chateau, it's mine. A gift worth millions of dollars. Congratulations. Thank you. Anyway, so back to the old man. Um, his name is Jasper. Didn't have a last name. I don't need to. Don't need to. I'm only telling you this because while I was over there, you know, in Europe, I learned some very interesting stories, particularly about you. What do you think you're doing? I know you went to go see Adrian before his bail hearing. I want you to stay away from him. He's in a very fragile state right now. And I don't want us to trigger anything that might be unfortunate. Do I make myself clear? How dare you? How dare you threaten me? I'm your grandmother. Show some respect. I lost all respect for you. The I found out you were fucking Benjamin LeBlanc. And then you tried to have my cousin killed? Listen to me, kid. I am not going to sit here and have you insult me. I am not the weak little boy that you and everyone else in the family says that I am. I know. I know you went after my sister just to hurt her. You went after she gave you everything. Everything you wanted! You had no right! No right! You had no right to tell my mother. No right to tell her about my sister's engagement. And yet you did it anyway. And I tried, I tried, I tried to think of a reason why you would do it. And I couldn't come up with anything except that you still had feelings for that man. way over your head. This is not a game you want to play. I don't take threats kindly, okay? But I have to give you credit. But next time you think about doing this again, remember, I have bigger balls than you and all the Geary men put together. So, if you think about insulting me again, I will cut you resolve and serve them to you for dinner. Oh, and the bitch has arrived. You have some nerve. No, no, no. I mean it. How dare you? No, no, really. No, there's no use pretending anymore. I don't hate you, Jacqueline. I don't. I admire your strength and your courage. Those are traits that I really like. But as much as I may love you, I love my sisters and my cousin more. I have information that could destroy you. I don't mean some pieces of paper. I'm talking about 
some hardcore evidence that would put you away for good. That is, if my father and uncle don't kill you first. So I'm gonna give you this piece of the puzzle. My early Christmas present to you, Adrian's diary. I know how much you wanted it. But the next time you come after my sisters, I may not be so nice. Nice ring. Prochainement, dans la fleur de mai. Yeah. Talk about my mother. Leo, Leo, stop. You know what we're doing here is I'm just, just doing my job. And no one needs to know about this. Marco, sit down. You know something else that's been bothering me, Uncle Tosh? What? It's that you knew my brother was sick and you said nothing. 